Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It's your boy Nick Boy. So we have three days left of the 2010s decade and I'm not thrilled at all that the decade is ending because 2020 is going to be an even worse year for YouTube than 2019 is going to be and 2019 was definitely the worst year for YouTube and if YouTube even manages to survive past 2020 then the years for YouTube is just going to be worse. Once 2020 ends then 2020 is going to be the worst year for YouTube and if YouTube even manages to make it to the end of 2021 then 2021 would be the worst year for youtube and each and every single year it's going to be the worst year for youtube and the years are just going to get worse and the scariest part is even if you try to follow the youtube guidelines you could still get punished for something you literally never did your channel can get wiped off the platform for literally just existing and it's ridiculous it seems as if youtube are not potty trains because instead of shitting in the toilet they are shitting on the creators hell i don't even think they have restrooms at the YouTube headquarters which would make sense because of how greedy YouTube is they probably don't even want to spend money on even making a restroom at their headquarters also YouTube made a new rule about their harassment policy which is not good because you should be able to talk garbage about people if you want to because that is freedom of speech and I don't know why YouTube even said they're trying to make their website a place for freedom of speech because it's not. Come on, YouTube. We know you're lying, so just tell the truth. It's not like you're going to make any less money. And that is a really dumb thing to say. Basically, they are saying you can't voice your opinion about person while they're also saying they're trying to make their website a place for freedom of speech. That is like saying, I want you to eat and not be hungry, but I'm going to take some food off your plate. How can you be giving us freedom of speech while also limiting the freedom of speech? It just does not make sense. Criticizing other people is something that we all want to do on YouTube. I honestly wouldn't care if someone made a video on why they don't like me because they deserve the right to freedom of speech. I strongly believe that everyone has the rights of the First Amendment, even the haters. Okay, so that is not just what I want to talk about in this video, but I do have another announcement about YouTube. So just in case YouTube decides to end my channel, I've made a second channel where I'll be re-uploading my videos onto there. I will try to re-upload as many of my videos as I can onto that channel. I don't even want to say the real word about what YouTube might do to my channel, but it starts with the letter T, and I just prefer not to say that word, but I know you guys know what I'm talking about. YouTube can wipe your channel from existence even if you don't break the rules on YouTube, so if you also make YouTube videos, then you should make a second channel and re-upload your videos there just in case YouTube decides to do something to your channel. I am not suggesting that you do, I am saying that you should because you don't want to lose the hard work of your videos. They say once you put something on the internet then it's there forever but unfortunately that is not true if you are talking about you videos on YouTube. Anyways, that is all I really wanted to talk about. As you guys know, it's the end of the year, and as you know, my uploading schedule is on Tuesday and Saturday, and January 1st, 2020 is on a Wednesday, and I do want to upload a video on New Year's, so my schedule will be off just for that one day. Anyways, that is all. Take care, guys.